With my imaginary rose, my first <laughs> rose goes to all the soccer moms, mine included, that make it possible for players like we just saw in that video to play the sport they love, to continue competing. So to all the moms out there that are dragging the coolers, the chairs, making sure your daughters have their, or sons have their cleats and shin guards, happy Mother's Day to you. They need a whole bouquet of roses because Allie Long and, and for Allie Krieger, as moms that are moms of two children, very young children at that, to be able to see how they've bounced back. Allie Long spoke about putting her twins to bed and then going out for a run at 10 o'clock at night. You know, the way they've been able to show that motherhood is possible. It's been an inspiration for the next generation of women that regardless what sport you play, you can have a career and you can have a family and you can do it both. And you can also be superstar, rock star moms at that that are playing at the highest level. Yes, as a minority former soccer player myself, I've always called on the sport to be more diverse more welcoming, more inclusive. And to see three Brazilians from legendary Marta all the way through to Adriana and to our youngest that's on Gotham, Bruninha, out on the pitch, able to play. And they've talked about, and, and talking with Bruninha this week as well, talking about having the opportunity to play in the United States. And a lot of times players will come into the United States in the later years of their career. Well, now at 20 years old, 21 years old, it's an opportunity to compete against players that have won World Cups and Olympics and have gold medals. To now play as one that inspires to do the, sell, the same, have a chance to play with them. So it's a change of the league to be more inclusive, more diverse, and also give these players opportunities to compete with the best at the highest level. Exactly. As we talk Talk about bringing in more international players. You need more teams to do that. Give them an opportunity to play in front of a fan base with a franchise. And so when you add more players, it's only right that we also add more teams. So this means so much for the league in looking at where they started over just over a decade ago to now to have teams in major cities, to have so many diverse players of all different backgrounds, including moms or 15 year olds. It doesn't matter. The NWSL is a place for players that just want to play great soccer. Gotham struck first with the best look they had the entire half. A beautiful first touch by Smith, able to cut off, cut that angle down. So now she's driving towards near post. And that was the best chance we've seen from Gotham. A, a chance like that to take the lead. But after that, it all shifted in favor of the pride. That's a chance you want to have back. That's a beautiful ball played in by Marta. And the hit just kept on coming for the pride, Evan. Well, what happened that shifted was their aggression kind of dropped off a bit. We saw more and more opportunities in the beginning from Gotham because they were creating passing opportunities. They were being more relentless. They weren't shutting off as much. So as soon as they lost it, they were working to win it right back. The difference in the second half of that first 45 was they were playing a little bit more on their heels. They were under attack and they were playing a little bit with less of that extra aggression that we see them bring. So you've got to get back to what Gotham does best, playing hard, the high work rate, buzzing all over the field, interchanging, creating passing opportunities. That's all you have to do. And then you can <laughs> definitely see how things will change for this game. Sounds so easy, right? When That's it. it that way. <laughs> well, we'll get